Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So this video is my deep moisture treatment video and I go into detail on how I am able to keep my hair so moisturized, soft, and just, you know, really flourishing. And for those of you who've been on this journey, you know that I've been through a lot of hair issues, really dry, brittle, a lot of breaking. I was able to keep that under control and have my hair just continue to grow and flourish and you can see the results. It's getting a lot longer. It's really healthy, very bouncy and manageable. So in this video, I go ahead and explain to you how I get this and how you guys can also get your hair moisturized and feeling really good, looking shiny, but most of all and most importantly, being healthy. So stay tuned. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to add one ripe banana into your blender with half a cup of water and you're going to want to blend that until it's smooth. Now why I use a banana is because they are full of nutrients that help to prevent hair loss. It also helps your hair to be soft and shiny and it helps to restore dry damaged hair. Now once that is blended you're going to want to get a strainer with very tiny holes and pour the mixture right through the strainer and leave the extra banana pulp right into the strainer. This will ensure that you do not get chunks of banana in your hair which is not fun. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add Add one can of coconut milk into the mixture and I use coconut milk because coconut milk nourishes and it strengthens the hair it helps to prevent balding it adds volume and body to your hair and it is a good detangler as well so now stir those together and once you've done that we're gonna go ahead and add the oils then I go ahead and add some vegetable glycerin because it helps to add moisture into your hair and it keeps the moisture that's in your hair locked in it also strengthens your hair and conditions dry frizzy hair then I go ahead and apply some jojoba oil because it has antioxidants that aid in cell regeneration and it helps to prevent hair loss. It treats dry, brittle, and damaged hair and it protects your hair from the outdoor environment. Now I like to be a little extra with my extra virgin olive oil because it helps stop and it can even reverse hair loss. It acts as a natural hair conditioner and it's full of antioxidants which keep your hair and scalp healthy. Now mix those together and once that's all mixed, I go ahead and add a little bit of argan oil because it contains vitamin E which helps to promote and and grow healthy hair. It helps to stop hair loss and it helps repair damaged hair as well. Once that's done, I add a little bit of rosehip oil which adds moisture and nourishment into your scalp and hair because of its fatty acid content. It also adds shine to dull hair and nourishes and soften dry hair. So give that a little stir. And once that's done, I add tea tree oil because tea tree is an antifungal, an antibacterial, an antiseptic, and an antiviral. So it helps to heal the scalp and it prevents hair loss. So go ahead and mix all those great oils together. So now what I'm gonna do is prep my hair to add the deep conditioning treatment right onto my hair. So my hair is detangled, it is dry. So I'm gonna get a towel and wrap that right around the sh my shoulders because my mixture is a little bit more liquidy, more watery in texture. And that's because for my hair type, it works very well. So I'm gonna section my hair into two sections. And for the second section, I'm gonna leave the part out that I'm working with. Then I'm going to gently finger detangle that, get out all the knots. And then I'm gonna add my conditioning treatment right onto my my hair and really have it worked in and penetrate right onto my hair shaft. The reason why the liquidy or texture of conditioner is better for my hair is because my hair is very kinky and the looseness actually helps me to glide right through my hair. So once that is worked in and penetrated, I twist my hair right back up. And now that my whole hair is saturated with my deep conditioning treatment, I go ahead and, well, what I'll do is I'll show you what it looks like. I'll flip it around. You can see the body and that the oils are really starting to work. And I go ahead and get a plastic baggie and I cover my hair right over with that. And what I'll be doing is putting on a heating cap right over it because what the heat does is it actually opens up my hair cuticles and it allows the deep conditioner to penetrate right into my hair shaft and it really works to nourish the hair from the inside out. I'm gonna leave that on for 30 minutes and once that's done, I'm gonna take off the plastic baggie and don't be like me and get it all over yourself. Be careful, crazy girl. And now that that is off, I'm gonna go in the shower and I'm gonna rinse this all out of my hair. Now that I'm in the shower, I'm getting all of the deep conditioning treatment out of my hair and right at this point, you can go ahead with your daily wash regimen routine. I've already done mine at this point. So guys, this is the next day I twisted my hair, I wrapped it up and I slept on it. So this is what it looks like the day after the treatment. And my hair is so full of life and body. It is so soft. If I shake it, look at me here with the twist out. I did the twist out so that you guys can see that it just moves. It has, it's so full. It has a lot of thickness and body and it's so healthy. I'm not sure what happened to these two right here. They just got away. But um, as I turn around, you can see that I can fluff up my hair and it is just really doing well. It's, you can see all the movement 